Did you know that in 2016, a graphic designer from Hong Kong named Ricky Ma built a $35,000 robot that looked just like Scarlett Johansson in his apartment? While this shocked the world, it was not the first time a beautiful robot had come to the limelight. During the 20th century, the concept of robotics and humanoids were largely conceptual. They existed in the realm of theories and science fiction. However, at the beginning of the 21st century, these concepts that had emerged in science fiction suddenly became possible. Researchers in Korea and Japan began to create the first set of human-like and realistic androids. Though their first models were humanoid robots with female forms, the scientists imitated the male pattern of movements. Also, their female body structures weren't so accurate. By 2003, during the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Ever One was unveiled. Ever One is recognized as the first gynoid ever. Her name is a combination of the biblical character Eve and the letter R from Robot. Her creators were a team of South Korean scientists who were part of the Korea University of Science and Technology. They molded her face to look like a composite of two popular Korean actresses, plus the torso of a singer. The exact women used as models were never actually revealed. Weighing 50 kilograms and standing at a height of 160 centimeters, Ever One was able to mimic human emotions such as happiness, sadness, anger, and surprise. She could recognize 400 Korean and English words, and she had 15 different facial expressions. Her successor was released during Robot World 2006 in Seoul. Since Ever One, the world has significantly improved at robotics. This means we have created more female robots, and with more flexible functions, and each with a primary physical beauty. Here are five of the most beautiful female humanoid robots. Sophia is a humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics. She made history as the first robot ever to be given citizenship of any country, and is a Saudi Arab citizen. She was developed to look like Audrey Hepburn, a famous Hollywood actress. Sophia has appeared in various interviews with the United Nations, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, and the British Broadcasting Company. Mr. Hansen, the creator of Sophia, believes that she will be a perfect fit as an old age companion in nursing homes, a crowd manager in large events, or in parks. One of the striking features Sophia has, if you ignore her bare scalp, is her beauty. You cannot be ugly if you are modeled after Audrey Hepburn. But while Sophia is beautiful, the open scalp with twinkling lights takes away from her overall beauty. But otherwise, Sophia is worth looking at. And she can confidently say she is the only robot to have spurned Will Smith's advances for a kiss. Some of the prettiest women today work on screen as TV reporters and actresses. This is part of the allure of the screen. News anchors are attractive people. It is no surprise then that one of the prettiest robots is a Japanese news reporting humanoid named Erika. Erika was created by Hiroshi Ishiguru, the director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University. She is one of the most intelligent humanoids developed in Japan, with a special emphasis on her speech capabilities. And while Erika cannot walk, she can easily interact with human beings and change her facial expressions according to the conversation. This is possible for Erika because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement. She also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology that makes it easy to track different faces in a room. And while she is unable to move her arms yet, it is not that big of a problem as she is working as a news anchor. Junko Chihira is a humanoid robot working in Aqua City, Odaiba, a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront. She was developed by Toshiba using the technology created by Hiroshi Ishiguru, a robotics researcher at Osaka. Junko Chihira has incredible interaction skills and a wide range of facial expressions. She can greet tourists in Japanese, English, and Chinese, which makes communication much easier. Junko is also programmed with sign language to help hearing impaired tourists. Beyond her technological capabilities, Junko Chihira can be mistaken for a real-life alluring Japanese woman. Her long nose and supple lips attest to this. Toshiba has used various advancements in artificial intelligence to create Junko Chihira. 
She is embedded with speech synthesis technology and natural language processing. Junko Chihira also has an advanced version, Kane Chihira, which can be programmed to speak any language. Kane Chihira has much smoother movements and intelligence capabilities as she was developed specifically for the tourism and travel industry. However, both robots look completely the same. Jia Jia has been termed the robot goddess of China, and for good reason too. Developed by a team from the University of Science and Technology of China, Jia Jia is considered the most beautiful robot in China, and this effect is only increased by the fact that she can talk to people and reply accordingly. While her speech patterns are still not mellifluous, Jia Jia makes up for it by looking remarkably human-like because of her eye movements and speech-lip synchronization. Jia Jia has these realistic expressions because special emphasis was given to her eyes so that she can catch multiple gestures, emotions, behaviors, and then respond accordingly. Jia Jia also has speech generation algorithms that allow her to hold a conversation with humans and facial recognition technology that makes it easy to track different faces in a room. And so, creators of Jia Jia hope that with time, her interactions will gradually become even more human and less robot-like. These are mere addendums. It is no mean feat to hold the title the most beautiful robot in China. The desire to create an ideal being to be worshipped or to serve its owner has obsessed mankind since ancient times. The sex robot's earliest precursor was probably Galatia, the ivory statue created by Pygmalion in Greek mythology. Ovid's Metamorphoses described how Pygmalion was disgusted by real women, but carved a sculpture of the perfect female so beautiful and lifelike that he fell in love with it and brought it to life with a kiss. This is part of the problem of the New Age. We have reached the point where robotics has found a way to merge with sex dolls. Humanoid robot sex dolls have begun to appear since around 2017. But none has been more realistic, and no robot has been prettier than Matt McMullen's Harmony. Harmony is the sex robot from California-based Realbotics, and it has been in development since 2016. Harmony is a robotic version of the company's hyper-realistic silicone sex toy, the Real Doll. Harmony smiles, blinks, and frowns. She can hold a conversation, tell jokes, and quote Shakespeare. She'll remember your birthday, what you like to eat, and the names of your brothers and sisters. She can hold a conversation about music, movies, and books. And of course, Harmony will have sex with you whenever you want. Once a trope of fantasy movies, the robotic sex doll is the result of convergent technologies. Voice and facial recognition software, motion sensing technology, and animatronic engineering can be combined to create dolls that can give you a warm, smiling welcome when you come home, entertain you with snappy conversation, and always be available for sex. It is redundant to state that Harmony is beautiful and sexy. She is designed to be as much a substitute partner as a sex toy. Finishing up with Harmony, we crown a list of beautiful humanoid robots that keeps increasing by the year. More versions will appear, older versions will be upgraded, and the ideal of robotics beauty will be pushed beyond imagination. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Which robot did you find the most attractive? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.